shirtless in the gym and this is not something to be vain about it's not something and that's not what I was trying to achieve realized once I've recorded it that actually it looks a bit vain but what I was really trying to do is because I wasn't wearing a racer back racer back is where you've got really small string down the back and I wanted to see if I was working this trapezius muscle which is the one you can see contracting in the middle and I wanted to make sure that I was targeting that as well making sure my shoulder blades were moving. Now I know it does look a little bit vain and I'm gonna post it on Instagram because it looked sick, I'm not gonna lie. I did not know my back looked like that um, because it's behind me. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't condone going shirtless in the gym. I really think it's such a vanity thing. I, I really dislike it. I mean, you shouldn't really be showing your nipples. I mean, the only reason why I wear a tank is for shoulder mobility. I find that doing that Especially with my shoulders being a larger part of me and the rest of my body being a little bit smaller they do tend to be quite tight so doing anything like moving my shoulders in a tight shirt is a bit of a pain in the ass so that's why I wear those I've never bought a stringer in my life because of that reason I don't think nipples are appropriate in the gym unless you can see some checks but we, we all know what that means checks Jesus Christ Gary um, but no that's not something that I just wanted to point out first of all. Second of all, um, I'm going to be posting more regularly on Instagram. You can see it down, I think it's that side. I might be wrong. I usually get it the wrong side, so I'm going to go for that side. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be posting more regularly on Instagram and I'm going to be putting uh, um, more pictures and stuff of my progress and stuff. I took a uh, Pro progression picture today which will went up on Instagram today but yesterday so um, and to be fair I didn't think I would still have abs by now which I don't unless it's really good lighting but yeah my abs are still showing through in the right lighting which is good because the best lighting is beach lighting so that's the way I think of it if it's good lighting it's gonna look good on the beach but I feel that as I want to look I think my goal at the moment is to look as good as I do in good lighting when there's no good lighting and then I just keep progressing I think that's a that's a good target um yeah definitely gonna be, become more active on Instagram not gonna work out with my shirt on shirt off as much it's not something that I think about doing a lot but uh yeah so I'm gonna that is my bus just there so I'm gonna run for it and I'll speak to you guys in a little bit anticlimactic I try transferring my um Basically my camera has a thing called NFC, which basically means I can transfer photos from my camera straight to my phone without having to plug it into anything, just get a copy of it, and I thought that was all good. 
So, tried doing that. I thought, you know what, video can't be much different. Let's try doing that. You can't do it with videos, which um, is a shame, but that means you'll just have to go through the long route of editing the final cut, making the montage, taking it out, clipping out the montage, you, you know, long old process, which is fine. I don't mind doing it, but it'd be better if I didn't have to. And the progression photo that I took is blurry so that means that i have nothing really i just <laughs> i'll post it a bit later you'll still see it when this video is up but you know it was a little bit anticlimactic i was all excited to do that but oh well um yeah i'm just gonna go in eat i'm not far away from home this is my, this is the car park near my house um so yeah not far away from home literally a couple of steps uh, gonna go eat gonna set the video to live. I try and do it on the way home from the gym most days, um, but I was too busy trying to figure out how to do that, how to transfer the uh, image from my camera to my phone. Realized it's blurry, transferred it, looked terrible, not gonna post it. Anyway, I'm home, I'll speak to you guys later. Hello guys, I'm squinting because the sun's really low, but you know me, I'm gonna always be 100% with you guys. So what I've done today is well, last night and today, is I've applied for a partnership, a YouTube partnership. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm selling out, that I'm doing it for the money or anything like that. Now, what it means is that I, obviously, there's AdSense on there now. So, there's, basically, that means that there's adverts that can pop up. Now, we all know that you can use Adblocker to get rid of them. No big problem, no big deal. Or you can pay for YouTube Red, Red which is, I think, a little bit of a waste of money. But, the reason why I'm doing that is because this daily vlogging, um, doing more interesting stuff costs money. By getting more money, you can then do more interesting stuff, therefore bringing you better content. You can also do things like improve the quality, like get a better camera, get uh, a microphone to attach to this, etc, uh, etc. Et it also makes me justify vlogging in public like this a little bit more. Because, you know, I'm getting paid for it. If anyone asks, I'm getting paid for it. It doesn't seem as weird. And that, that's literally the reasons why I've done it. Um, at the moment, says the estimated earning is zero to zero point zero two dollars. So whether that increases in the next month or so, I don't know. But you know, it, I still haven't got it confirmed. But I just wanted to keep you guys up to date and make sure that you guys are with me in this whole process. And if you do have any objections to it, leave it in the comments below. But I think it's a, a definitely a clever move for me. And the fact that I'm uploading daily, it'll just it'll just motivate me a little bit more. I get, like I need it, but you know, it's um it's definitely not gonna hurt. Anyway, I'm gonna go to work and I'll speak to you guys later. Guys, as you can see, it's another beautiful day. Also, it's just a little bit with the color correction I'm gonna add onto this later. But, um, some good news. Uh, I spoke earlier about the partnership idea. Um, not the idea, but what, what I'm doing with it. Now, I've just had my AdSense account um, verified, not verified, um, approved. Basically, what AdSense is, is the adverts that would now pop up on the videos that popped up there anyway. Um, now I get money to tie it, money off them if you click on them or I think that's I think that's how it works anyway. Um, but the AdSense thing basically says, okay, we're gonna um, give you some money for that. Uh, that. That's basically what it is. But what you need to have is you need to have good copyright standards in the first place. So uh, making sure there's no copyright strikes or anything against your YouTube channel, which you can check in I believe it's Video Manager or Overview. So yeah, that got approved. That's all good. I was pretty certain it would have got approved anyway, but. You know, it's still nice to get the approval. So then we're gonna go, I think the next step is to just go onto the channel and check out to see if Freedom is which partnering channel I went, uh, applied to and see if they've approved it yet. And I'm not really sure whether they have or not. So we'll check that out when I get home and I'll see from there. So everything's looking good. Everything's looking really good. I was gonna speak about something else as well. Um, I can't remember what it was. Huh, it's really nice. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, um, I had to start adding the color correction to things, which I think just gives it a bit, makes it pop out a little bit more. Um, um, so yeah, I've started adding the color correction to things because it enables me to 
you know it pops up makes the video pop a little bit more and uh looks a bit cooler and me not so pale what i'm also going to start doing is doing if there's a specific clip that i really liked out of the montage i'm going to put it into a video upload it to instagram instagram is down there yet again and um do like a a preview so uh, an early access thing so when i upload it i will put the unlisted link straight into the um instagram description of the of the picture of the clip and then so if you guys follow me on instagram you'll be able to get early access to the videos if you're that interested um which means you should be able to watch them that night now that's not going to be a consistent like um first of all thing actually i'm going to turn around and go that way because i'm going to speak into Carlson a bit but it's not going to be a consistent thing um because obviously different links for videos will upload at different times but it'll be an unlisted link for you guys to click on um so before you basically get a little bit of early access it's only going to be by maybe six hours tops but it's, it's handy if you stay up to like two in the morning and bored see it on instagram pop up have a look and be like oh okay so i've seen that for today um yeah i do try and get my videos up between six and twelve during the uh during the day and sometimes I've, i do forget which is actually now that i'm partnered if well if i do get partnered i'll be able to do an upload schedule meaning what, what you can do is you can say okay this is going live then which will be pretty cool which i'll probably make it i don't know i have to talk i have to think about what time i'd make that but that's awesome that's that's a benefit that i'm also doing that would benefit me greatly by being partnered anyway i'm gonna go now i'm gonna probably speak to kelsey in a second and i'll speak to you guys a little bit later on if you don't remember me saying that basically macros in bulking is a minimum so you've got to try and stay as close to them but make sure you go over them at the same time so ideally like for me staying under fat and going over my calories is ideal so i'm on 50 grams of fat 200 protein 400 carbs which works out to about 2800 calories roughly at the moment i've got 72 over my protein which is kind of good a bit much but usually I would go for 200 to 250 proteins. So I've gone over quite a bit on that, but that's okay. Um, I've got 19 grams of fat left, which is good. And I've got 66 carbs left. So I need to get 66 carbs while staying under 19 grams of fat. And then I'm done for today. Eating wise, I'm good. I don't actually want to eat, so I'm not hungry. Um, so yeah, I just got to find 66 grams of carbs from somewhere. I've already entered all my pre-prep meals. I what I've got today is tuna, kidney beans, and pasta. No sauces, no mayo, no nothing. It's actually not that bad. I thought that because it would be no mayo, the, the tuna would just be disgusting. But kidney beans, I think it smooshes it up a bit. So yeah, that's the top tip. If you, especially if you're shredding, add kidney beans in with tuna. It makes it taste all right. But yeah, it's, uh, so it's, today's going to be a relatively easy rest of day. Um, 66 grams of carbs is not hard for me to find or consume by any stretch of the imagination. I'll go back to the office, I'm going to make this quite short. Um, but this partnership thing has definitely got me more macro minded. It's definitely like all the hard work that I'm putting in is paying off and it's showing. And okay, it might not necessarily be paying off physique wise, but it's paying off in other ways. And that's something that you've always got to try and realize that actually what you're doing, all the hard work that you're putting in is doing good. So I'm going to be a little bit more macro minded I think and not be as uh, blase when it comes to everything I think I've almost used up my limit of being blase anyway and being and just got away with it so far and I think I'm gonna get fat soon if I don't sort it out yeah, I just finished up at work now poor guy behind me is broken down I don't know if you can see yeah but here he is broken down all right anyway I just remembered that my scales probably should be at home by now dad should have picked them up if he's remembered so I'm gonna go home and do an unboxing of that Hopefully second time lucky, hey. Also gonna go home, finish up, finish up the minutiae details of the partnership, and hopefully everything will go through smoothly. If there's any problems, obviously, I'll let you guys know. And I'll keep you fully updated on the whole situation because I'm really excited about it. It's really motivated me, and hopefully it will motivate me to produce even more content for you guys. So anyway, I'm gonna catch a bus and speak to you guys later. So guys, I am home from work. Now, as you can see, you've got my package. Now, I have no idea what this is. This looks like it should be not scales, but you don't know how this works. So it might well be scales. Let's get a look and see what it is. Ah, 
Okay, so it is scales because they are packed. Look at this. What a waste. Packed it out completely. So, yeah, we've got invoice here. Won't read that. Let's have a look. Let's see. We're using these tomorrow morning, I believe, or maybe Sunday, I'm not sure yet. So we have the body analyzer. Now, what this does is you... Okay, I'll just read. I'll read what it says in the back. Experience the benefits of enhanced weight management with body composition analysis. The Body Analyzer 1 will not only measure your body weight, but also provide body fat, muscle mass, bone mass, and water weight calculations for a more complete physical assessment of your overall, overall health. Measurements in pounds, kilograms, or stones stores information for up to eight users. So, I'm going to open this up. This is what it looks like on the front. For those of you that don't know, I was watching Nikki Blackcatter, if you don't know who she is, she's a fantastic fitness YouTuber. I'm sorry, I'm just propping myself up. Um, she's a fantastic fitness YouTuber, go check her out. Um, but she had a 75% discount code on this. I don't know whether it's still about. Um, I think it's just 75% off. Have a look. Um, I can't remember the video, I'll see if I can find it for you guys. If I can't, I'm sorry, but it's probably expired by now anyway. But yeah, so this is something that I've definitely been looking for, especially if you've, um, if you like me, you like knowing your body fat percentage, your muscle mass and everything, and the Fitbit one just isn't cutting the, cutting the cheese as it were. Is that a saying? We'll go with it. Um, so yeah, really happy with this purchase. I will give you a review when I can, because obviously I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to go set this up and I'll hey guys, see you guys. The girls came. I've got them here now. If I got my mum on the camera, which is great, so we pan down and I'm just going to show you how they work and what they do. So we press set, and what what we've got here is when it works. We've got P1 male. I'm six foot one, not six foot three. Turns out, 21 years old. And what we do is we go stand on them. So we make sure that our metal, that sort of metal, you know what I mean. 177.4. Then we wait for the calibration below. And you can see my ugly feet. So if I step off, that's 61% water, 47% muscle, 15.5% body fat, and 8.8 .8 pounds of bone mass. So that's all quite interesting. That's going to help me um, achieve my goals and make sure that increases and that decreases and that goes up. So, yeah. Um, it's just a really good I'm bit. I'm going to finish today off here. And it's been quite a long video. I've quite enjoyed recording today. Um, very, very motivated at the moment. Really looking forward to shoulders and arms tomorrow. Sorry, even though my hamstrings are still damn aching. I keep hiccuping every time I turn the camera on. Hiccup. Um, but yeah, I had a look at the partnership sort of idea, as I said I would, and it had. Um, I'm waiting. Basically, there's a learn more button I got to click, and it's not appeared yet, but it said it could take up to three days. So. I'll keep you posted on that. If it turns up, it turns up. If not, I'll have to be like, yo, sort me out. So anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like and comment. And I'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning.